Good evening and welcome back to Cricket Captain 2023. We are back with another game in the county championship and this time we are playing against Kent. We are playing against the top team. 140 points. They've only lost one game in this whole season. And we're going to take a look at it right now and see which one that was. Because I don't think it was against us. Because they beat us. They beat us early. Um, where is... I can't actually choose Kent. Okay, that's slightly annoying. Never mind. Let me click through there. And performances. That will show me. That will show me. That will show me. County Championship. There we go. It was the second game and it was Warwickshire who are in fourth. So, I've done a bit of research. I've done a bit of reading. And if I am correct, let's actually start training up some of the youngsters. Uh, aggressive bowling. And there we go. That's okay. Um, and what I've learned is that basically I'm being a bit too defensive here. Dan Lawrence has actually gone away again. But Harmer returns. Armour does return. Porter, I'm afraid you're going to go for now. 24. Let's bring in Snater. There we go. That average is not too bad. All the way down. Um, it, it looks like I'm being a bit too defensive with my batting. And that's what's kind of opening me up to trouble. This is going to be a bat first. So what I'm going to do, instead of... Going defensive, as I usually do. We're going to go aggressive. Not crazy aggressive, but a little bit more aggressive. We're going to go to no chances and play the overs. First ball for four. Wow. Great shot. Look at that. What a shot. We're going to go a bit more aggressive and see how that helps us. Just to see if the batsman can get settled. Because recently... Last couple of games in the county championship, I've tried to really settle the batsman defensively. See it, get your eye in, get behind the ball, stuff like that. And it's not worked. Last game, we were skittled out, I'm afraid. Twice for rather low scores, I have to say. Rather low scores. Look at that, though. He is. Nick Brown has got the potential to go big on, the, on these scores. Whereas Cookie, it doesn't look like he has actually, does not look like he has hit a hundred this year. If that was, well at least not in those recent ones. But there we go, the batsmen are kind of settled there. So we're actually going to go a little bit more aggressive. And we're now 48 without loss, 53 without loss. So it's safe to say going a little bit more aggressive has worked here. But there, there we go. There's the downfall of it. The player is... There is the chance of you absolutely holding out. Tom Wesley has hit his first ball for four as well. Okay, it was a terrible delivery to be fair. And then he's out. Then he's out anyway. Okay. Cookie's now going to hold the strike, if possible, for an over. There we go. Critchley is still not faced. And Cookie is now very settled. Critchley is settling. We're going to get to... Aye, this is what I mean. Fully settled. Fully settled batsman. And then gets out, gets out like that. 92 for three uh, is actually not so bad. 84 for four. We are pretty much par for the course right here. And let's, oh my lord. Second ball. Second ball. We're, we're struggling again. Bottleman is a defensive player. Paul Walter is a defensive player. They both, both are defensive. But there we go. Paul Walter has the, well, he's got it within himself to smack the long ball 
another wicket goes down. Aggressive and likes pace bowling. We're going to move forward here. Very defensive. Let's up that aggression a little bit. And he's out. See, uh, I don't know. I don't know here. I do not understand if I'm being honest. It did work for a little bit. And then it's flipped back. Okay, if we can get to Allison's out as well. Cool, 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 cool. Love that. Simon Harmer can bat. Can we make 150? We can. Okay, there we go. That's already an improvement on the matches we played last episode. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> Please help me out here. Bracewell is playing well. Can he make 50? There's T, day one. 186 for six. For eight, not for six. I'm being optimistic. We are, yeah, we are struggling. We are struggling. Let's make 200 if we can. Oh, I Snater, what are you doing? Let's make 200 if we can. There we go. There's 200 off of a misfield. We'll take it. We'll absolutely take it. Third over. Aggressive again. And that's that. Cook gets out for 15. 217 all out. It's not great. But it could be worse. Is what I'm going to kind of take from that. Okay, there's the first four. Where did it go? It was Bell Drummond. Okay, that's where it went. Back you go. Okay, and Compton played it. Oh no, kind of through third man. So back you go. Okay, another four. Where did this one go? Round the corner there. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Changing it up. Allison comes in and instantly gets a wicket. There we go. Kentar 29 for 1. That's what we needed. That's what we needed. Joe Denley at the crease now. But we still need to get Compton. Snater's also going to change. We're going to bring on Paul Water. And also gets a wicket. Brilliant stuff. Compton is now gone as well. And it is Temba Bavuma, the South African. The kind of he's a very he's a short guy, isn't he? He's a short guy. And that's day one, and Kent are 35 for two. We've got an 180 run lead here. This is, we've got a long way to go. I'm liking this from the bowlers here. Very tight. Okay, now it's time for a change then. Okay, this is okay. Stop bowling no balls. That would be helpful. Bracewell is in. That's a wide. And bavuma has gone. Brilliant stuff. Okay. The pitch is average. The bounce is uneven. The outfield is fast. The weather is unsettled. Prefers front foot and leg side. Jordan Cox. Prefers spin bowling, actually. 
so I suppose we keep on with the with the pace bowling for now. Bring back Sam Cook. And bring back let's bring back Walter. That's okay. That's okay. There's lunch on day two. 134 for three. Kent are going pretty well here. Jordan Cox run out. Hits it more or less straight to the fielder. And then, wow. Pace bowling back foot, so get it forward. Pace bowling leg side. Okay, well now you would think would be the time to bring on the spinner. So here comes Simon Harmer. One of the best spin bowlers in the county championship. And that run rate has absolutely died. We're going to bring on Critchley as well. Okay, we're now taking Critchley off. Tom Wesley will come in. Gets a wicket. There we go. 204 for 5. We've still got the lead here, but it's going to be very difficult to... Uh, it's going to be very difficult to keep them from taking a lead here. New boys available? No, I do not. Or do I? They both prefer pace. There's T. There's another wicket. There we go. Okay. Let's take that new ball. Let's give it to Sam Cook. And let's do some damage. Front foot offside. Okay. Logan is gone, replaced by Hogan, who prefers the spin bowling. There we go. Kent lead by 49 now. And we really should get these wickets. There we go. Hogan is gone. Nathan Gilchrist comes to the first spin. Okay, we got to get him out soon. There we go. Okay, Kent lead by 77. 77. Okay, one off the first. A four and a wide, so we take five off the second. Simon Harmer got the best figures in that innings, it looks like. In that Kent innings. Okay, we need to bat well here. Well on Cookie, that's runs, that's good. And then gets out. Great. That, 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 that's not great, Cookie. Come on now. Come on now. Tom Wesley, the captain. You've got to step up and perform. And that's what you do. End of day two. We're 37 for two. 43 minutes have been lost. Okay. We need to reach parity. And we have. Okay, a little bit more from Nick Brown. We're going to go aggressive. We're going to go a little bit aggressive here with Critchley. Who is way more settled now. My lord.
is flying through the gears here. Playing an aggressive form for Critchley is working. And then he gets out. Okay, but that's... That was a quick fire. That was quick fire. That was pretty crazy. Okay, Nick Brown is at the crease. Bottleman is also settling pretty quickly. Is the pitch is average. No, the, the aggression, the aggression there on Nick Brown is what's gotten him out. But we lead by 87. Okay, I do. Oh, yeah, okay, thank you. I thought that was a wicket. I was going to say, I think I do need a bit more of a performance here from, <clears throat> from Paul Water. I think I do need a performance here. Bottleman's gone. Okay. Now I definitely need a performance here from Paul Walter. I'm scared to click play over. Honestly, I'm scared to click play over. <laughs> I'm just, I'm so scared a wicket's going to fall and it's going to mess me up. The pitch is average still. The bounce is uneven. It's still very cloudy. Runs are on offer. Paul Waters playing very well. Okay, let's get a 150 lead. There we go. Now I'm going to touch the aggression on Paul Water a little bit. 160, 167. Another over. And now the aggression will go up again for Bracewell this time. And but there we go. That's what gets you out. It wasn't that much different. 195. 197. Get the 200 lead. There's T. Brilliant stuff. Okay. 282 for 6. A much better batting performance here. Paul Walter is... Oh, rain stop play and hour 33 has been lost. This isn't so bad. Because getting a draw against Kent wouldn't be so bad. Pitch is average. The outfield is now average as well. Allison's gone. But Simon Harmer can bat. Let's not forget. He can bat. 293. There's 300 up. Well done. Well done, Paul Walter, honestly. And I have just gotten him out by clicking that. That is me. Perhaps the conditions going to that level of aggression is too much. Snater's out as well now. Last wicket. Can we make it to the end of the day? We can. Okay. A lead of 244. 321. Okay, Simon. Can have taken a new ball. Okay. I'm very scared of the wickets falling here. But we've got a kind of. I there we go. Cook gets out for a good 21. Much better performance, but we really we really need to bowl well here. 261. Um they've got an hour and a half in this session. Um an hour and a half. How many overs is that? 20 overs. That's 60 runs if we keep them at 3. Tss. 
Well, that's not keeping them at three, is it? Seriously. Conceding conceding fours this early. Missfield for six. Come on, guys. Pitch is turning. On comes Simon Harmer. On comes Tom Wesley. That's a maiden. That's brilliant. That's only three off that one. Cook needs to be rested. Bring on back Harmer. There's a wicket. There we go. Brilliant stuff. Two off the over. Maiden. One off the over. One off the over. Lovely. Yeah. Okay. 24 times 4 times 3 is 72. So they're going at threes. I've got about 60 overs left in the day. There is very little chance. But there is always a chance. There's always a chance when Snater is out there, when Harmer is out there. The spin is working. That's four wickets down. We've we've got to play spin. There's no there's no other option here. That's another wicket down. Oh my lord, come on guys. That's another wicket down. Four wickets to win. That's T. That's f I We can do this, come on. We can do this. I've just smacked my mic. The spin bowlers. Oh my lord. You One wicket. Simon Harmer has taken six wickets. The spin is the only option here. We need one wicket. Harmer to Gilchrist. It's straight. It's bowled him. And that's the win. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. What a performance from Simon Harmer. Seven wickets for 90. 29 overs bowled. 27 overs bowled from Tom Wesley. What a performance from the spinners there. What a performance. They had two hours left. They would have got the runs easily. But we kept taking wickets. No 50s. For the opposition. And the tail were unable to play on the turning pitch. An uneven bounce. We get the win. I'm so stoked. I'm so stoked. Matt Bracewell got man of the match. Are you sure? 57 not out. Not 57. That's 58. I can agree with that. I can. I can agree with that. He bowled 1 for 10. That's okay. Yep, I can agree with that. He then got 44. Again, that's pretty good. I can agree with that. And then he didn't actually bowl in the second innings. But he did have three good innings. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, Simon Harmer did have a 10-wicket match. Um, not to mention hitting a helpful 18 not out. And, well, only four there, actually. It's tough to give that to Bracewell and not Harmer. But do I care? Not really, because that was an incredible win. I am so proud of the boys.
we have earned that win and it felt like we needed it because we were on a bit of a losing streak as a club there. But we get the win. Najar is injured. Okay, well, that's not great, but could be worse. Could be worse. Slow left. Um... Left hand bat, slow left W. I'm confused. You can color me confused. I would have thought it was slow left arm, but I don't know if it actually is. It could be something else. Anyway, 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 anyway. Australia have won the third, the fourth test. Australia won the fourth test. Um, did England win a test here? Okay, England won the third test, but then Old Trafford, they lost. Wow, 149. Ahmed played. Anderson, Broad, Robinson, Ahmed. No Wood, no Wokes, no Lee, no Ali. Lee, uh, sorry, Jack Leach. Right. There's Wood. Broad, Leach, Robinson. So Leach is around. Confusing me here. Ahmed's come in for Wood, but there's no Leach. Bairstow's going in ahead of Stokes. Hope is five and Brooke is three. This is questionable stuff. This is questionable stuff, but never mind, never mind. Anyway, guys, what a win. I've kind of like, I've kind of like just painted over the fact that we just got an incredible win over Kent. Um, Simon Harmer, that is an incredible... <laughs> 875 first class wicket. Are you crazy? How many's on this year? 34 this year. Of which 10 were in that last game. He's played less games as well because he was injured. Because he was injured. This is nuts. But we'll take it. We've played 10. Four wins, four losses, two draws. We're basically dead even on all of the results. But that was a win against the top team. And that, that really tightens up the table. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Next time we will play Hampshire. And I shall see you there.